welcome everybody. My name is Steve Griggs. I'm the CEO of the Tampa Bay Lightning and Emily Arena. And uh, we are so excited to celebrate the up and com upcoming uh, NHL All-Star Game for 2018. Uh, it's been nearly seven years since I've worked for Jeff Vinnick. Uh, and he talked about transformation, excellence, and world class. Uh, and how we could transform the Tampa Bay Lightning into one of the top franchises, not only in the NHL, but in all of sports. And uh, he's given us every single resource that we've needed to be sex successful both on and off the ice. And it's been validated when you look at the ESPN Ultimate, Standing, uh, Ultimate Standings. We were ranked number one this year. Um, but now we have another crown jewel that validates that uh, we are world class and we're building an excellent organization here. Uh, so we're very proud today uh, as an, a Lightning organization and our entire team is back behind the cameras here and, and uh, I want to thank them all for really allowing us to, to get this done and putting a lot of effort into uh, successfully getting the 2018 All-Star Game. Yet we sit here beside the NHL, uh, Commissioner Bettman, welcome. Uh, the City of Tampa, Mayor Buckborn, welcome. Uh, as well as Hillsborough County and Mr. Ken Hagen, and then, of course, the uh, Tampa Bay Sports Commission with uh, Rob Higgins. We all work collectively together to create another great marquee event that's going to come to Tampa here in January uh, 26th to January 28th, 2018. To start us off, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, our owner, who in 2010 bought the, the Tampa Bay Lightning, and he's adopted this city. And not only we're we building a world-class organization, but uh, we're going to transform this city as well. And we are very, very fortunate to work for the very best owner in all of pro sports. And with that, I introduce Jeff Vinnick. Great. Thank you, Steve. And I want to thank everybody for uh, coming out and attending today. Uh, your being here and uh, the press coverage, frankly, uh, is an indication of what we believe, how big and how important this is for the Tampa Bay area. So thank you for coming. Uh, thank you, Mayor Buckhorn, for being here. Thank you, Commissioner Higg uh, Hagen, for being here. Thank you, Rob Higgins, for being here. Coop, for showing up. Uh, former players of ours who are in the room right now. I want to thank you all for coming. Uh, most importantly, and I can never say it too much, uh, I want to thank the Tampa Bay community and thank the fans of Tampa Bay. Uh, the support we have from our fans and from this community is nothing but incredible. Um, coming here seven years ago, uh, our brand was uh, off balance, to say the least. Uh, I think we were kind of irrelevant in the community. Um, uh, we've, we're, we're fortunate uh, you guys have been there for us uh, when we're playing well and when we're not playing well. Um, when we're uh, when the, the league is uh, you know a few years ago when the, we missed a few games and we kept going with our community hero program this entire this entire Tampa Bay region has always been supportive of us so so we thank you uh, I have a message to you fans you deserve this all-star game you have provided us this tremendous support you have created one of the strongest franchises in the NHL you deserve this all-star game, and we couldn't be more proud to have it here next, uh, next January. Uh, seven years ago, as Steve said, brought the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, it was a dream of mine. I love the sport of hockey. Uh, I love this Tampa Bay area. I love it a lot more now than I did then as I get to know it better, but it was a dream of mine. And as you know, at the first press conference, uh, standing very close to where I am right now, said we're going to build a world-class organization on and off the ice. And as you probably also know, my kids kid me all the time about on and off the ice. They say that an awful lot to me. But, uh, you know, it all starts with people, with Todd Lywicki, ex-CEO, Steve Griggs, Steve Iserman, GM, um, you know, and the, and the rest of the employees of the Lightning uh, have done tremendous work. I get credit an awful lot, and I get it an awful lot more than I deserve. It's about all these people in this Lightning organization, full-time employees, part-time employees, who make our game experience so special, you all deserve the credit for what we've accomplished here. We have almost 15,000 season tickets sold as we come into next year. That is multiples of what it was seven years ago. We have sold out 107 games in a row. 
absolutely incredible in an arena that's, that seats 19,024 fans. We have grown the game at the grassroots level, and I should have thanked Jay Feaster here, head of community hockey, for what he's done. We have given out tens of thousands of sticks to, to elementary school kids over the, over the last two years. It's got to be at 60 or 70,000 sticks right now, growing the game at the grassroots level. We have made the conference finals three of the last six years. We want to win the Stanley Cup every year. We want to make the playoffs every year. We believe it should happen, but it's probably not realistic. So the best way to look at our progress on the ice is how we do over a long period of time. This year, we'd like to believe is a blip, and we do believe it's a blip, but we've made the conference finals three of the last six years. You have allowed us to dream big. With Cascade Investment, we are building a $3 billion real estate across, for development across the street from the arena. We hope it, transform, we hope it helps transform this, this great city with all the potential that it has. And lastly, or two things. One, financial-wise, I'm proud to say that the Lightning has gone from losing tens of millions of dollars to roughly break even. My formula for long-term success here is one, to be break even, plus or minus, two, to be able to uh, put a team on the ice year in, year out that can compete for the Stanley Cup, and three, to make a difference in this community and give back to this great community. Right now, we have accomplished those objectives, and I couldn't be more proud of this organization. I couldn't be more pleased to be part of this community. Once again, thank you, Tampa Bay community. Thank you, fans, for supporting us. Speaking of thank yous, thank you, NHL. Thank you, Gary Bettman, for, bringing, for being so supportive of our franchise and bringing the All-Star Game back to, back, back to Tampa Bay. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have Gary in town. It's often good news when he's in town. Uh, we're in the playoffs, or we have something else to announce, or it's the All-Star Game. Uh, Gary is just, uh, I can't speak more of him as a commissioner, uh, and I think he's just a great supporter of ours. So he was in Pittsburgh last night for a game two of the playoffs, then flew back to New York, got up, flew down here just to be here today before he heads back up to um, uh, for Ottawa for game three. Uh, Ottawa, Nashville. The pre preview. To Nashville for game three coming up. Bring your earplugs from what I understand, Gary. Uh, it's great to have him here. Again, thank you all. We're so excited to have the All-Star game coming here next year. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. And as Jeff said, for me, it's always a pleasure to be here in Tampa uh, to make an announcement uh, that is special to me personally, to the NHL, and I know to Jeff and the entire Tampa Bay organization. And that is January 26th through 28th will be All-Star Weekend here in Tampa. Uh, that's 2018, of course. Uh, first of all, being here, and probably on a little sleep, it caused me to reminisce about the beginnings of this franchise, and I suppose part of that is doesn't everybody fly from uh, Pittsburgh to Nashville via Tampa, it's the direct route. Uh, but, but seriously, I remember coming here in 1993 uh, when the team was playing in the fairgrounds, and I had just become commissioner, and we pulled up to to the fairgrounds building, and there was the Zamboni sitting in the parking lot uh, because there was no room inside the building for it. Players were stretching on the grass, and I scratched my head and I said, this looks like it's going to be a lot of work to make this franchise successful. Uh, but what was clear to me, passion of the fans in the building and coming back year after year, that this was not only a city that has great hospitality and great weather uh, and embraces sports, but this was going to be a great hockey market for the NHL. But we went through some lean times, uh, erratic times, unbalanced times, if you will, with respect to ownership until Jeff appeared in my office one day and Jeff said he dreamed of this or he dreamed of that. I dreamed of an owner for the Tampa Bay Lightning like Jeff Finnick, and my dream came through. Because when, when you look at everything that he's done with this franchise, yes, he said he was committed to building a world-class organization, and he did, first with Todd Lewicki, now Steve Griggs, 
Steve Eiserman, John Cooper, uh, Dave Antrichuk, who's in the back. You and I had a moment on the ice a few years back as well, and it's good to see you part of what's going on here. This is a first-class organization, both on and off the ice. And that's a testament to Jeff's vision, his commitment, his energy, his willingness, and Penny's willingness to devote resources, not just to improving this building and investing in the team, but also making this team a vibrant part of the community, whether it's Build the Thunder or Community Heroes. It's not a surprise to me that there are over 100 sellouts. But, and also, by the way, goes without saying, your commitment to this community with Channelside, which is an incredible undertaking for the city. So what Jeff has shown is what ownership will do when you're willing to commit and go all in with the com community, and the community is willing to embrace you as well. And I also think back to the early 90s, and I would come here to where the building was supposed to be, and there wasn't an arena, and the ownership at the time either couldn't afford or didn't have the ability logistically to get it off the ground. And every time I would show up, none of these buildings were here. It was just a vacant lot. And for my benefit, I learned in retrospect, they would rent a bulldozer, and they'd have one person just moving dirt around so that I would think that the building was just about ready to break ground. Well, you know, that was a long time ago. Subsequent to that, Dave Andrichuk hoisted the Stanley Cup at a very special moment when Bill Davidson owned the team. Uh, in 1999, we came here with an all-star game. But so much has changed since then. By the way, in 1999, Steve Stamkos was eight years old. So even that has changed dramatically. This is a long-winded way of saying that when you have great ownership and you have a hockey team that's embraced by the community, wonderful things can happen. And we're delighted to be a part of it. And none of this happens, again, without the ownership and the organization, but you need the mayor, Mayor Buckhorn, thank you, and you need the Tampa Bay Sports Commission, Rob Higgins, thank you, and you need Hillsborough County, Ken Hagen, and we thank you as well, to all coordinate, especially because, for those of you who keep track of the calendar, the weekend of All-Star festivities is also Gasparilla. And we're going to be working with the people at Gasparilla to take our event and their event and figure out what we can do together to make both events more special than anybody has ever seen before. Because for us to embrace Gasparilla and what is a great tradition here in Tampa, and for Gasparilla to use a little bit of our frozen technology, the ice and our players and our festivities, we think this weekend is going to be something special. From the NHL standpoint, the person who's going to be resp responsible for coordinating it is Steve Mayer. Steve, why don't you stand up so everybody can see you? He's our executive vice president of special events and content. He's the one who did the All-Star Weekend festivities in Los Angeles to commemorate our 100 greatest players in this, our centennial 100th anniversary year. And he's going to be the one who figures it all out. And when people think back about this weekend, Hopefully, they'll remember that he's the one who coordinated it all. And with that, again, it's great to be here. I'm very much looking forward to All-Star Weekend 2018 here in Tampa. I've been promised by the three gentlemen on my left that it will be beautiful, 75 degrees, blue skies, perfect weather. Actually, you've also promised that to the Gasparilla people, so it's all good. Next, we want to bring up one of the hardest working uh, leaders here in this community, uh, energetic, uh, brings the large events to our, our community. He's the executive director of the Tampa Bay Sports Commission, Rob Higgins. His group is also known as Team Tampa Bay, and I know they're here with us today as well. Uh, he's the one that brings us the Frozen Four. He's the one that brings us the Women's Final Four. Uh, last year we saw with the, the 2017 College Football National Championships. These are the big events that come to our, build, or come to our building come to this community, uh, and he's the one that makes it happen. So with that, I give you Rob Higgins. I thought everybody had forgotten my bulldozer driving days, but uh, 
Apparently, it was a lot of work. I mean, I thought we were fooling somebody, but apparently we weren't. You were six years old. I, I was. That, that, that was great. Um, I'd be remiss if not starting with the, with a couple of key thank yous. One, Commissioner Badman, thank you for this opportunity. We, we, we know what an incredible event this is. We know that it's one of the crown jewels of all of sports. And so to entrust our community with this is incredible. And we couldn't be more excited. We're going to make you proud. Uh, next, an announcement like this wouldn't take place without the, the gentleman to my right here. What Mr. Vinnick has done. He promised seven years ago today, as you mentioned, world class, and it's exceeded it. Uh, it's, been, it's been a game changer for our community, and we couldn't be more appreciative. I want to introduce and recognize uh, a, couple of other, a couple of other individuals as well. I see Santiago Carrada. Uh, Visit Tampa Bay has been such a big part of not only this effort, but every one of the efforts to bring uh, world-class sporting events to our community. And Santiago, under his leadership, has been phenomenal. So we, we couldn't be more appreciative. Let's give Santiago a round of applause. <laughs> our good friends at uh, Visit St. Pete Clearwater with David Downing and, and Tim Ramsberger can't be here with us today. They've been phenomenal as well, and we're excited to partner with them on this event. I see a, a couple of great people uh, from Gasparilla as well. Uh, Christopher Likes, Don Barnes, Daryl Stephanie, why don't you guys stand up? We'd like to give them a round of applause. <laughs> Gasparilla has been awesome. Uh, we, we've engaged them in conversations, talking about ways to work together, and uh, they have been tremendous. They have made one request, which was to rename the event NHL All-Star Weekend. <laughs> And we may have to stop short, just short of that. But everything else we're going to do together in, in sync, and it's going to be NHL All-Star <laughs> Weekend. Uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be phenomenal. Uh, and, and we've recognized our convention division bureau. We've recognized uh, certainly the good folks at Gasparilla. One of the questions that came up uh, very quickly from a standpoint is, how, how are you going to deal from a hotel standpoint? And we've been so pleased with how our hotel community has really stepped up. Uh, the NHL asked us to, to provide 1,700 rooms uh, on peak as part of it. And within a couple weeks, we we're immediately able to provide 2,600 rooms. And, uh, and we just are so excited with how everybody, just in this immediate amount of time, has stepped up and helped on so many uh, different fronts. And we know both of these events are going to work just so well together, and we couldn't be more excited about it. We've got another couple gentlemen here who are a big part of the fabric of the, the success of, uh, of these events and of, of bringing in a, a great event like the 2018 NHL All-Star Weekend. And I've got the pleasure of introducing them as well. I'd like to start by introducing Hillsborough County Commissioner Ken Hagen. Commissioner Hagen has been with us every step of the way, not only through this effort, but all uh, of, of the different wins that we've had recently, and, uh, and we couldn't do it without his fine support. So I'd love for him to come up and say a few words. Well, thanks, Rob, for that kind introduction. I'm absolutely delighted to be here. I want to start out by saying Team Tampa Bay is extremely excited uh, to host our second NHL All-Star Weekend. It was uh, not quite 20 years ago, back in 1999, when we last hosted uh, an All-Star game. And with this event being held during our annual uh, Gasparilla celebration, I can promise you that this will be an All-Star weekend like you've never seen. Uh, the reality is uh, this would not be possible uh, without uh, the leadership and commitment of Jeff Finnick. Uh, Jeff's vision for our community is incredible. And today is yet another example of what he means to our area. Uh, Jeff's uh, vision and investment, not only in the Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Lightning, but to, to transform our entire community is indispensable. Uh, we are grateful today to have a true uh, titan of industry and community among us. When you leave here today, I take a few minutes and look around or when you have an opportunity, uh, spend some time on the Riverwalk. And it's very easy to see how all of the amenities uh, and connectivity distinguishes our community uh, from all others. 
having just come off a very successful college football playoff national championship game, I can say with confidence uh, no community is better positioned to host a world-class event. The 2018 NHL All-Star Game fits perfectly into uh, our lineup of so many um, world-class events. No doubt we are on a roll when it comes to hosting national sporting events. We have a long list of successful ones, just going back to 2015 when we hosted our second NCAA Women's Final Four. In 2016, we hosted the NCAA uh, Men's Frozen Four our second time. Of course, this year we had the very successful college football playoff national championship game, the first time the event was held in the southeast. All of these events got rave reviews. And already on the schedule, we'll celebrate the NHL All-Star Game in 2018. In 2019, we have our third women's Final Four. Uh, in 2020, uh, March Madness comes back for the fourth time here to Amelie Arena. Just last week, we had a major announcement about the Super Bowl in 2021. And in 2022, we have the SEC Men's Basketball Tournament. I mean, what an awesome lineup. I just want to say to Commissioner Bettman and our NHL friends, thank you for this unique opportunity. Uh, we stand ready to show you once again that we are an all-star city and an all-star community. Thank you. Up next, the man who needs no introduction, but uh, has been such a, an invaluable teammate across the board. You think about all the logistics that come into play when it comes to city services, when it comes to so many different uh, decisions and coordination that has to take place. And we're, we're fortunate to have a guy that, that really helped drive that from our standpoint. We could be more appreciative of all his efforts. Ladies and gentlemen, City of Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn. First of all, Commissioner Bettman, thank you for uh, believing in this amazing place that we call Tampa. You know, to my friends at uh, Ye Mystic Crew of Gasparilla, you guys will not be the only ones with fake teeth that day. <laughs> this is an exciting day for us. The uh, parade has been going on for over 100 years. It is one of the signature events in our community one of the most uh, well-attended events in the country. And we are proud uh, of that parade. And we're proud of the work that you Mystic Crew does in our community. And to have the opportunity to marry that amazing event with a hockey all-star game is really for us uh, a dream come true. Um, it's going to be an exciting weekend. It's going to be a long weekend. Some of you will have to curtail some of your alcoholic beverages. But that's a good thing. This is going to be an opportunity for the world uh, to see a city that has transformed itself, Commissioner, since when you first showed up here a number of years ago. This is a city that does these big events as well as anybody in the country. And we've proven it over and over and over again. I mean, just this past January, the world saw a downtown that, that literally has changed before our eyes over the last three, four, five years with a river walk that now connects everything in our downtown with an event that, once again, we stood up on that international stage and said, we, number one, we don't ask anybody's permission, and number two, we do this better than anybody in the world. And so for us to be able to host this event and host these amazing athletes that are here today and to celebrate the decades of success that the NHL has and to marry it with the Gasparilla Parade on a beautiful January weekend with all of the activities that will go along with this, um, is going to be an amazing experience for our community, and we could not be prouder. Now, I would submit to you this. I want all of you to understand this. You need to hold on, because Tampa's chapter has not yet been written. And what is about to occur with what Jeff is doing in this area, with what has already occurred, this community over the next five years is going to be unlike any city in America. This will be that place in America where the best and the brightest want to come, and where every major event will want to be. Not only because we know how to do this and we know how to execute, but this will be that city that has a buzz about it, has a swagger about it, where the best and the brightest and the most talented are flocking to in droves. This is an amazing place. This is an amazing time for us. We will stand up on that international stage like we always do, and we will perform like we always have. Get ready. 
It's going to be a long weekend. It's going to be a fun weekend. There will be a lot of pirates in town that some of the hockey fans have never seen before. We're going to have some explaining to do about what these pirates are and what the history of Gasparilla is. But you know what? That's okay. Because that, what, that is what makes us special as a community. And when you combine it with an NHL All-Star game, it is a win-win for all of us. And we cannot wait. So let's drop that puck and let's go have a great time. Thank you, Commissioner.